Yo guys, what's going on? It's your Michael back here with a brand new video guys, and today we're you guys is a video talking about the brand new Black Ops 3 Eclipse DLC pack that is going to be coming into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on April 19, 2016. That is right guys, so if you guys are really hyped for this video, make sure to slap a like on it. Let's say for 10 likes on today's video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. All the roughly 200 subscribers, let's get right on into today's video. So basically today Trade did a live stream like with some YouTubers and basically they announced a whole new Eclipse DLC pack that's coming out in April 19, 2016, uh, just about a month from now. And basically this is some huge news. I'm just gonna be telling you guys and they showed off all like uh, screenshots and that stuff from the game, and I'll be telling you guys the description of all the maps plus the little zombies like trailer at the end of it uh, with the description also. And um yeah, let's get right into it. Now uh, you guys will also be seeing the actual like screenshots of the actual multiplayer maps because that is all we have so far. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the descriptions. So first off, we have Spire. As you guys can see, it's a pretty like nice and colorful multiplayer map. Uh, Spire takes multiplayer combat to a futuristic suborbital airport terminal set high in the clouds. Multiple levels and open areas promote intense mid-range combat around a clean, high-tech civilian environment. Watch your step because one wrong move could send you plummeting back through the stratosphere. The stratosphere. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, this looks like a really cool map. It's it's like mid range, like close. Yeah, mid range combat. So it looks like it's gonna be kind of like an SMG type map, which sounds really really cool. Cause I like I said before, SMGs are a really really great gun, like gun like weapon type in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and I think they actually rule this game. So uh, yeah, that's a really cool thing. Mid range combat. And uh, yeah, this looks like an all around great map. Let's move right. Mo let's move right on to Rift, the second map. Uh, this map actually looks pretty cool. Also, uh, let's get right to the description. Uh, head to the core of a harsh future futuristic military complex set high above an active caldera. Rift tunnels and forces tight. Intense engagements where the only way through is forward. Utilize the unique core movement opportunities to outsmart and outplay enemies as you tra traverse the suspended rail system. So this sounds like an absolutely insane map, as you guys can see on the screen. This actually this looks like a pretty cool map, to be honest. It's, it's basically saying how there's going to be a bunch of wall running spots and that stuff, and that you can actually use like your thruster packs to get to some high places, I'm guessing. And uh, yeah, this sounds like a really cool map all around, and uh, it actually re reminds me of kind of like that, what is it, that there's this one map back in Advanced Warfare that's, uh, you could kind of just keep going up and up and up. Um, I forget what it's called but that's what it kind of reminds me of. I don't know if it'll actually be like that, but um, yeah, let's move on right to the next map called Knockout. Okay, as you guys can see on screen, Knockout is also a really, really cool map. Uh, Knockout is actually housed in a traditional Shaolin temple with a retro twist. Knockout sets the stage for a bloody kung fu tournament. This mid-sized map showcases a sharp contrast between the mid-range engagements of the traditional exterior architecture and the tight close quarters of an electric 1970s styled interior. This looks like a pretty cool map also, it's like a, a kung fu type place, like uh, as you guys can see on screen, it's a bu bunch of like, um, little like pink, like I'm pretty sure there's like apple trees in the background, like somewhere in like Tokyo or something, it looks like a really cool map, um, a really like bright map also, and I really like love these bright maps that Treyarch are bringing back into the game, and uh, yeah, this looks like an all around cool map, and I can't wait to start playing it. And yeah, let's get right into the last multiplayer map called Verge. Um, in this reimagination of the classic Call of Duty World of War map, Banzai, that's right guys, Banzai is coming back into Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, Verge drops multiplayer combat into the center of a distant post-apocalyptic future, where two warring factions are en entrenched in constant battle. Take control of the key bridge, fortresses, tunnel systems, and waterfalls as you engage in a high-speed action uh, three this medium sized map. So this sounds like an absolute like actually this map is actually such a beast map I played it a couple times in world at war whenever I like, hop on it and this map like I actually really like this map to be honest Like this map. I don't know. I just it feels like uh, when in this map whenever you take control of a certain area You're just like good. Okay, if you get your team can actually take control of these certain areas like it actually describes in this like Description you guys are good like if you guys like you just got have to make sure you don't die from those areas And you guys your team can just control the whole map from there So uh, that's what I really like about this map and uh, yeah, those are all four of the more multiplayer DLC maps and uh, yeah, let's go right into the zombies uh, portion of it with of course the trailer in the background and uh, after this, I will actually put the actual full trailer in the background also, just with like, the sound and everything. So let's go right into it. Eclipse also sets the stage for Zetsubu no Shima, the highly anticipated all-new entry in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombie storyline that spans the four DLC map packs from, from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this year. The Origins characters continue on their mission to stop the zombie apocalypse not only in this universe, but in all universes. Our heroes find themselves stranded on a remote Pacific island which is home to the Division 9 facility. 
a secret biological research lab whose experiments with element 115 and its effects on human, animal, and plant biology has created horrors beyond belief. The Subu Noshima features a field foliage rich island map including new terrifying zombie enemies, a variety of innovative transport mechanics, more devastating traps, and classic zombie side quests. So you guys, that's some really exciting news regarding the zombies map. Now we actually have it confirmed that it'll actually be on the, an actual island. Because if you guys didn't know, there's actually some leaks and rumors going around that it'll actually be on an island. And uh, now we have it confirmed that it actually is. So you guys, I will actually leave you guys with the actual zombies trailer. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys actually enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to slap a like on it. Let's say for 10 likes on today's video, like I said before. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. On the road to 200 subscribers. And I hope you guys are really, really excited as much as I am. For this new DLC pack, I will be sure to have gameplay for you guys up on my channel the day it comes out. So you guys, be stay tuned for that, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Peggy 18. Take it easy, Tack. I'm sorry! I don't speak Japanese! The object in your hand? It's gonna bring you nothing but pain! Believe me, I know! I am an envoy of the Emperor himself! I am no traitor! DLC packs, one great price.